Hello everyone, and welcome to Blender Savage. So today, we are going to model Easter eggs, just in time for the season. So, uh, eggs tend to be round. So we are going to delete this cube here. I'm at the X or Delete cube, X or Delete key. There's a delete option. Left click it, cool. Shift A, bring in a mesh, UV sphere, UV sphere. There we go. We're going to turn this into an egg. So I made one for front view. The decimal key on the number pad to zoom in center. Five for ortho. There we go. And it tells me right here in the upper left-hand corner what view I'm in. Now I'm going to take this into uh, edit mode, tab key for edit mode. Cool. Z key for the wireframe. And then A to deselect all. Cool. And I'm going to border select this whole bottom half. B key. Hold down the left mouse button and drag across the bottom half here. Cool. So as long as... Uh, those vertices are inside the uh, border selection box, the drag selection box. It'll select them. All right, so I'm going to scale these out. Sorry, I'm going to pull this out. If I just hit G and Z to pull it down, it doesn't look much like an egg. It looks kind of weird. It looks like a like a pill or something, see? I'm going to bring that back. So I'm going to go over here to the proportional editing tool. I'm going to activate that. Left click it, select enable. I can also hit the O key, and it toggles it off and on. O for Oscar, see? Off and on, off and on. So we want it on. We want the blue. We want it enabled. Now I'm going to pull this down and hit G to grab it. And I'm going to hit Z to pull it straight up and down along the Z axis. So you pull it down here. And I can spin the wheel on my uh, mouse, the third mouse button. You can change the area of influence. Pull it down some more. I get a good X shape. I don't want the top to be too pointy. That uh, looks good. Put it down more. Let's see. There we go. Left click. Commit to your uh, pool there. All right. So my Z for solid view. There we go. Tab key for object mode. There we go. Object mode. Looks pretty rough for an egg. So I'm going to smooth it out right here on smooth. Cool. There's my egg. Now I just got to color it. I'm going to go right here to the uh, properties panel. Look for materials. can't see it. So I'm going to make my panel a little wider. I can also hover over these buttons, spin the wheel. But then if I select materials from here, it's kind of hard to see the menu. So I'm going to make it wider. There we go. And then new. Cool. I'm going to name, I'm going to name this material eggshell. Egg shell. There we go. Just double click in there. Or click in there once. You can double click up there. You can rename it. Then hit enter or click away. Uh, eggs aren't exactly that white color, so I'm going to change it up. So I'm going to go over here under Diffuse, left click in there, and give it like an off-white color. There we go. And pull that up. There we go. Looks like a good egg color to me. <clears throat> Let's apply it to my egg. Now I'm going to create duplicates, and I'm going to color them so I can have a variety of Easter eggs. So I'm going to do Shift D to duplicate. You can move your mouse. Hit Z, sorry, X, roll snap it to the X axis. I can move it directly to the other side. <clears throat> here we go, left click to drop it, make another duplicate, shift D, X, move that one out over there, and I'm going to right click the original one again, and I'll bring a duplicate up there, shift D, and Z, move it directly up, cool, shift D, Z, move it down, left click, there we go, so I got five eggs here to work with, so I'm going to go with my first one here, right click it, <clears throat> and then I'm going to take it to edit mode, edit mode, bam, all right, A to D select, I'm going to switch over to face selection. Here we go, face selection. And let's go with, um, uh, let's color rings on this one, loops around it. Let's subdivide it so we can get more uh, edges here, more faces. So I made A to select the whole thing. There we go. And over here on the tools panel, I'm going to look for subdivide. Spin the wheel. There's subdivide right there. Subdivide. Boom. Now oh, I got more faces, more edges. Decimal key to center it. Zoom and center. <coughs> A to deselect all. And then I'm going to select uh, some rings here. So I'm going to hold down the uh, Alt key to uh, execute a loop selection. I'm going to right click on this vertical line right there between the faces. See? And it selects uh, what's perpendicular to that line, which is all these faces here on that loop. One for front view. And I'm going to hold down the alternate and shift key and just select alternating uh, loops. Alt and shift. I'm holding down Alt and shift as I right click here. So I can select these faces. There we go, there we go. If you accidentally set it, select the vertical one, like that. Just Control-Z, and your uh, your original selections will stay there. Let's make this one a little wider. There we go. 
this one too let's get a skip the one there and we'll make this one wider single single oops control z there we go and yeah, single there oops messed up again let's see there we go so i'm gonna give these a different color so the material there already applied is uh the eggshell color so to add another material hit the plus sign make sure hit the plus sign and then new and let's go with uh let's go with a nice easter color like pink or uh, magenta or purple i'm gonna go with magenta magenta i think that's how you spell it honestly do not know i have no idea i'm gonna go right here and the side the white run the rectangle below the fuse bring up the color wheel get a magenta ish color let's see is that magenta enough for some of you guys i'm gonna go ahead and assign Cool, and I saw that on my selection there. Tap key for object mode. Cool, there we go. There's my uh, striped egg. Very trendy. All right, one for front view. I right click this egg over here. Hit the decimal key to center it. Then the tab key. Take it into uh, edit mode. A to D select. Now let's say I want to get a zigzag pattern. So to do that, I can triangulate the mesh. But if I triangulate the mesh from here, the uh, the zigzag pattern won't look that good. It actually won't be well defined. Let me show you guys. See, it's not a, it's not a good zigzag pattern. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Cool. So what we want to do is subdivide it first. Subdivide into smaller faces. So make sure to select everything. So hit the A key once or twice to everything selected. Subdivide. Cool. Now Control T to triangulate the mesh. Control T. Cool. And I got some better zigzags. Zigzag. See. A to D select. So you can see my little zigzags there. Now I'm going to... Actually, let's go with a different base color on this one. I'm going to color the whole thing one color. And then I'll color the zigzags a different color. So let's go with like a bright green color. So I'm going to A to select all. Plus sign. New. I'm going to call this one green. <clears throat> with a nice bright still green. Bring up the value. And get some blue in there. Cool, I like that. I'm going to sign. There we go. A to D select. Cool. Now I'm going to select uh, some zigzags here. So the best way is create a border selection box. And what you want to do is have these little squares here that are inside of your triangles, inside of your faces here, because now they're triangul triangulated. So you can select those. See if I hit a B for border select. And I just keep those inside my box there. See though I got those four? Oh no, A to D select. Let me try that again. The smaller box. Oh, come on. It worked earlier. Let me see. Z for wireframe, border select. And I'm just going to select these right here. Should be a zigzag pattern. Cool. See, I got it that time. That's what I want. All right. Let's make a, a wider one. If I make a wider one, it's actually easier to, to border select them. Let's see if I start with these up here and then go all the way down to the one the next one that points up there is another one nearby let's see you get an argyle pattern see there we go border select over here somewhere too notice my uh, border selection boxes aren't that huge I got a stripe you know what we'll leave that we'll leave that as a stripe Yeah, I can leave that like that. And here we go. I can select those right there. Get a nice zigzag. Cool. And I'll just do a loop selection over here somewhere. There we go. Maybe another one down here. I can't even see down there. But let's see what we get. Cool. All right. So now let's go to the plus sign. And then new. This is for new material. And let's click in here. What's on the opposite side? Oops, sorry. Go down here under diffuse and go something on the opposite side, opposite side of that green color. And it's gonna it looks like it's gonna be like a red. We'll make it bright. And then a sign. We can't see it right now because of the wireframe. We name it red. So I need to go to solid view seven. Sorry, Z key for solid view. There we go. Cool. There we go. Let me color the top of this. Seven for top view. A to D select. I can do a circle selection, C for circle, put it right here in the center, spin the wheel, make it bigger, 
and left click and we go right click to turn off the tool and there's reds already selected assign cool we just made that red and let's make another selection here so uh, A to deselect Z for the wireframe and I'll select this area here assign move over Z cool and let's make the bottom of this here also red so to do that I can do a control 7 Gives me the opposite of a top view, which is bottom view. A to deselect. I'm pretty sure I got something selected over there. C for circle selection. Make the circle bigger. And we'll select all these vertices there. Right click to turn off circle select. Red is selected. Assign. And there we go. One for front view. Tab key for solid view. Cool. It's like a pretty cool egg. Travel design. All right. This one, we can just make a, like a solid color egg. Gold or pink, something like that. Let's make this one a golden egg. So I'm just going to hit the plus sign because it's already this color. I don't want to change this color. It's going to change it on these other ones. So plus sign, new, and type in gold in here. Oop, type in golf. There we go, gold. And try to create a gold color. Let's brighten that up. Uh, it doesn't look too gold like. With that, on the specular, we'll go with some yellow and we'll brighten that all the way up. Intensity on that, let's see. All right, so it doesn't get applied, so we got to go to edit mode. Edit mode, okay, a couple times, like the whole egg, sign. There it goes. Tab key for object mode. There we go, looks pretty gold to me. All right, I'm going to right click this one right here and take that to edit mode. Tab key. Cool, decimal. And this one, I'm gonna give it a different look. I'm gonna select alternating uh, edges here. Actually, yeah, let's do that. So I did the select, control seven for bottom view. Zoom in, I'm gonna hold on the shift key and just right click uh, two vertices like this. Or let's go with three. And then I'll skip one and then select more there. Select those there. There we go. I'm going to give these another color. Oops. I click it again to deselect it. And I'm holding on the shift key. So I right click all these faces here. Select them all. There we go. We can use one of our existing colors. Hit the plus sign, so don't change it here. Hit the plus sign first. Now we have a new material, we can select the one from here. I'm going to go with the magenta and then assign. Cool, see, one for front view. I got those going right there. And now let's uh, hit A to deselect. Let's go with different colors on this one Z for the wireframe. And I'll border select this loop here. A for solid view. And I'm going to go right here. Oops, sorry. Plus sign first, plus sign every time for new material. Then we'll go in there, we'll go with green, assign, cool. Now you the select. You can also hold on the alt key and just right click the vertical edge and you get the whole loop. Let's do that for these right here. There we go, plus sign. And then right here, I'm going to go with the red, then assign. And I'll just make the rest of this this green color. So uh, Z key, we're to select the top part here. Z for solid view, cool. And then I guess I'll go with this bottom part here too. Z key, border select, Z key for solid view. Make sure you don't select the existing parts already. And I'll go back with this green color right there. Assign, there we go, AD select. There's my egg, tab key for object mode. And this one, we give it uh, vertical lines. I'm going to right click it. And then let's start with the, with the solid base color. What colors have I used here? What colors have I not used? This is gold, pink, uh, magenta. Let's go with like a, let's go with a brighter pink color. 
with the uh, go to edit mode. Do the lyrics selected. A a couple times, select the whole A. Plus sign. And then you make an actual pink color. I'm going to name it pink. Pink. Go to diffuse. And let's go with the more pink color. Get lighter. There we go. Nice soft pink. Assign. Cool. A to D select. I'm going to hit send for top view. And hold on the alt key. And then right click the uh, the circular faces here. The circular edges on the faces. Hold on the alt key. Right click. See? And I can select that whole edge right there. One from front view. Send for top view. Then hold on the alt and shift. Hold on alt and shift. And just select alternating. Oops. Alternating edges here. I can select all this whole loop of faces. Very therapeutic. Oops, control Z. Alternate shift. Right click, there we go. Off in front of you, check that out. And let's give that a yellow color. So plus sign, U. Call this one yellow. Yellow. All right, yellow right there. That's yellowish. A sign, bam. Tap key for object mode. There goes my Easter eggs. You know what? I'm gonna change the color on this one. It's just too much blue on that one. I'm gonna right click it, select the tap key, and I'm gonna zoom into it. See, so right click there, decimal key, zoom out. So I'm gonna start from here up and give it a different color. Oh, some more variation. Did I go low enough? Yes, I did. All right. So I'll give it that other pink color I made earlier. Plus sign. Go over here, materials, materials list, pink, and assign. A to the select. Cool. Tap key for object mode. There we go. G for grab, just place it up there. Right click that one, G for grab. Place it down there. Now let's make uh, some low poly grass for our, uh, our eggs here. So I'm gonna left click right here. Bam. Bring in a mesh plane, shift A. Mesh plane. Set for top view. I'm just gonna scale it up. S for scale. And make it pretty big. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna give this a nice green color. So new right here for materials. Call it grass. There we go. Nice bright green grass. Take it edit mode, tap key for edit mode. There we go, cool. So now I'm gonna subdivide this. See all these faces here? I'm gonna go over here to subdivide. Cool. Actually, there were just one face. Now there's four faces set for top view. Now I got four faces. Subdivide again. Second subdivide and subdivide a third time, subdivide a fourth time, and subdivide a fifth time. Now switch over to vertices selection. You want to subdivide one more time. Boom, subdivide six times. All right, A to D select. I'm on the shift key and just right click these random vertices on my mesh here. So they're all on the shift key and I right click them for multi select. One more, just in case. Maybe one for top view, one for front view, sorry. I'm going to pull these up. Uh, I don't want to do it under a smooth. I have the portion editing tool, which is good. I want that. I want to look uh, kind of rough. So I'm going to go to random. G for grab and then Z. So I can move directly up along the Z axis. Make this plane bigger. Sorry, uh, make my area of influence bigger. And that looks kind of good right there. Left click. Cool. Looks real nasty, but we'll fix it up in a bit. Tap key for object mode. It doesn't look too bad. If you want to keep it that way, go for it. Kind of looks like a confetti. But if you want to change it, you want to make it low poly, go over here to the uh, modifier tool. Make sure your mesh is selected, your plane. It's already selected on mine. 
add modifier, and then you can go to decimate, decimate right here. All right, and with your decimate modifier on, and your uh, mesh here selected, your plane mesh, we're gonna decimate this down to a tenth. So left click to the right of ratio right here on the one, tap in 0.1, enter. So we went from one to 0.1. There you go, so it's a little more low poly. Hit the zero key on the number pad for the camera view. That's what the camera sees, what's inside this frame right here. There's an egg out of place. So let's adjust our eggs inside the uh, camera. So I'm gonna right click this egg here. G for grab, put it over here somewhere. It's probably floating out in space, so I made one for front view, and it is. G for grab again, move it over here. Left click, seven for top view. G for grab, move it over here. Make sure it's not touching anything else. One for right view, zero for camera view. Cool, it's in camera. Now set up for top view. And I'm gonna rotate this out in front view. One for front view. R for rotate, move it over to the left. G for grab, pull it down some more. Right click this one. R for rotate, move it over that way. And three for right view. And I rotate this one in this direction. G for grab, bring it down. One for front view. Just change, chasing the chase, uh, changing the position of the X. That way they don't all look kind of weird. They don't look uh, all perfect. They look kind of random. Like they just got dropped there. Set for top view, and I rotate this one here in top view. That way it's not facing the same direction as that one. Or let's go this way. There we go. G for grab. Put it there. Right click this one. One for front view. Rotate to the left. G for grab. Put it down. Left click. Seven for top view. R for rotate, move it that way. Cool. I'm gonna make a duplicate of this egg here. Shift E, move it over here to the left, to the right, sorry. Left click, R for rotate, rotate in a different direction. See for camera view, another in our camera here. I'll right click this one there, set for top view. Shift D to duplicate, move it over here. And just rotate it out in that direction. Left click. Let me copy this one, Shift D, R for rotate, Shift D, there we go, R for rotate, and let me copy this one too, Shift D, put it like, uh, put it somewhere where it's not touching the other ones, R for rotate, one for front view, just rotate it all the way upside down, G for grab, set for top view. Make sure the eggs are not touching each other. So you for the camera view. That one's kind of high, so I'll bring it down. And there we go. Let's bring another egg in there. Uh, let's make uh, get that one right there. Shifty. And I'll put it right there. See so you for camera view. Oops, that's not a good spot. Set for top view. G for grab. Try to squeeze it in there. I'm going to have to make room, so I'll right click this one. G for grab, move it over. Make sure they're not touching. Cool, cool, cool. You right click this one here again. Set for top view. R for rotate. There we go. G for grab. All right, zero for camera view. All right, maybe have it point up a little bit. R for rotate. I see they're going through my mesh. That's okay. A different view of this one over here now because now I can see the back of that one. So our top view, R for rotate. Looks cool. Maybe make another duplicate of this one right here. So for top view, shift D, move it over, rotate that one out. There we go. Make another duplicate of that one, shift D. All right, doesn't look too bad. Here's our background. It's gray, it looks kind of boring. So let's change the color of that. So I'm gonna spin the wheel here. Look for a world right there. Left click it. Down here on their horizon color. Left click inside that gray uh, around the rectangle. And let's go with the light blue color. And we're gonna bring this up all the way up. Nice and bright. And there we go. If I go to rendered, you'll be able to see it. I'm gonna go down here on the white circle. Select rendered. There we go. Still kind of dark. So let's uh, bring in some more light. So 
So I'm going to go over here to solid view. Seven for top view. Here's our lamp. Oh, there we go. There's a lamp right there. If you can't find your lamp, you can go over here to the outliner. Let's make this wider. Click your lamp right there. And then you go over here to lamp settings. And then also over here on the 3D view, when they hit the decimal key, to get your lamp. Let me zoom out. Or from front view, it's up there. I'm going to change this lap into a sun. It'll be nice and bright. There we go, sun. There we go. Let's make another sun. So I have that sun there. Seven for top view, shift D. Move it over to the left. It's pointing this way. So I'm going to rotate it so it points back. R for rotate. Oh. Left click, zero for camera view. All right, now render. See how that looks. Cool. Do got a shadow in there. Let's get rid of all these shadows here. So I'll bring another camera, another sun on the other side. Seven for top view. Let me go back to uh, solid view. It'll be less for my computer to process. Maybe yours at home. Move a little faster. There's my two light sources. My two lamps, which are now suns. So I'm gonna duplicate this one. Shift D. Put over here by the uh, camera. Left click. And have this outer line face this way. R for rotate. There we go. See you for camera view. Now let's go to rendered. Cool. I like that. Nice and bright. Very Easter like. If you want to move your camera, shift F, and then you can move the frame around. But I'm going to leave mine alone. Nope. See, it's too much for my computer to handle right now. But if you want to move the camera, uh, I want camera review. Hold on, shift and then F, F for frame. Then you can move it around. All right. So now if I want to render this image, go over here to rendered. So you can create your nice uh, picture right here. Remember, remember whatever's inside the frame will get selected. Uh, PNG, yeah, we can leave it as a PNG. Select the place to save it. Uh, it's a temp folder. I'm going to go over here to this folder. And I'm going to select desktop to save it in there. Desktop. And I got a lot of files in there. Call this one Easter eggs video pick. Cool. Accept. And then you would just click up here on render and you're done. Let it render out. Then you get your desktop. You can check out your image. You can flex to your friends. Thank you for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment, share. Any love is greatly appreciated. Thank you and have a great day.